go ahead and start this morning seated to just come to a nice, comfortable seat. And we'll start actually in seated butterfly. So just bring your soles of the feet together, creating that diamond shape in the legs. And go ahead and take your hands either to your knees or your shins just to help sit up a little bit taller. And when you're ready, let's take a big breath in, shrug your shoulders up towards your ears. Hold the breath in and then exhale, release your shoulders back and down. Good, slightly leaning back here to find that nice tall spine, drawing your navel up and in. And together, let's take a full big breath in, breathing in, expand your belly, the ribs, the chest, the heart, maybe you pause at the top. Exhale, open mouth, sigh it out. Let anything go mentally or physically. And then just begin to seal your lips here as you breathe in and out through your nose. So just notice if you're already tensing in the face, the cheeks, the jaw. And just begin to follow the breath here as you allow your body to soften. Being grateful for this day, our breath, our body. Good, as you breathe in, follow the breath from the bottom all the way past the tip of the head. Find that length here and then exhale as you slowly begin to soften, letting the breath go. Good, slowly maybe blinking your eyes open or keeping your eyes closed. We'll breathe in together, taking your hands down by your sides, palms facing me, and then breathing in, sweep your arms out and up towards the sky. Palms will come to touch, gazing up. And then exhale, we'll draw our hands down to your heart center, bow the chin down towards your chest. Just pausing here for a moment of gratitude, maybe an intention that you're working on or just being present with our body, our breath this morning. And when you're ready, we'll slowly peel our head back up. And then breathing in, fly your arms high towards the sky. Good, and we'll take a little side stretch. Exhale that right hand down, fly your left arm up and over, reach, reach, reach. Keep that opposite bun glued. Maybe you bend that right elbow. You can look down to the hand in front of you or up towards the sky. Good, slowly we'll come all the way back up, soft shoulders. And then exhale, take that left hand down, right arm sweeps up and over, reach, reach, reach. Soften through the jaw, the neck, the head. Good, slowly we'll reach all the way back up, full breath in. Good, we'll take a gentle twist. You'll take your right fingertips behind you, left hand to that left shin, breathing in, grow tall. Good, exhale, gently twist, look past that right shoulder. Take another full breath in. Exhale, twist just a little bit deeper. Good, we'll take it to the other side. You'll breathe in, arms will float back up. Good, and twist it to the left, right hand to that left shin or knee, left fingertips tent behind you. Breathe in to lift up. And as you exhale, ring out the belly, the spine, look past the left shoulder, keep your chin lifted. Take another round of breath in, full, exhale it out. Good, slowly we'll come back to the center, breathing in, arms high towards the sky. And then exhale, release your hands down to your knees, back to your shins. And then we'll just move here through some cows and cats. You'll breathe in, lift your head, lift your heart up, gazing up. And then exhale, round your spine like cat back, chin towards the chest, really lean back, chin heavy. Good, breathing in slowly, we'll lift back up, find that cow belly. Squeeze the shoulder blades together, and then on this round, maybe you exhale, close your knees in together, round the spine, chin towards your chest. Good. We'll take this two more times. Move as slow as you would like. Inhale to open back up, lift up. Just warming up the spine. Exhale, draw your knees, your thighs together. Round the chin in towards your chest. 
Good, once more, inhale, we'll open. Exhale, round it back. Good, inhale, we'll come back to the center. And then go ahead and take your legs to a wide-legged fold, seated. So just extend your legs as wide as you would like. Either point your toes or flex your feet. And then breathing in, sweep the arms high. And then exhale, we'll take your fingertips behind you. Your fingers will point towards your body. Take a big breath in, maybe let your head fall back, maybe slight bend in your elbows, draw the shoulders back. Exhale, open mouth, side it out. Good, inhale, you'll slowly push onto your palms, lift your arms high. And find the reverse of that, we'll round it forward, coming to your fingertips, your palms, maybe your forearms, let your head be nice and heavy. Good, you can stay in stillness here as you feel that stretch in the inner thighs. Maybe you come to little tinted fingertips and walk your hands over towards one side, one foot, let your head remain heavy, and as you breathe in, find that room and space in the body. And as you exhale, soften. Good, if you walked your fingertips to one side, just slowly dance your fingertips back to the center. Exhale, over to your other leg. Breathing in, finding that space. Exhale to soften. Uh, gently, we'll take our fingertips back to the center when you're ready. Breathing in and then exhale, gently walk your hands back towards your body. Good, we'll put a little bend into your knees, scoop your hands underneath your thighs. And then we'll come to a little boat pose here. So you can keep your knees bent, maybe you straighten your legs, maybe your fingertips come down behind you. Good, just firing up the belly, maybe palms face up. Stay lifted through your heart, lifted through your chest. Take a full breath in. Maybe you exhale halfway lower, extend your legs forward, chin towards the chest. Good, inhale, draw your knees in. Exhale, lean it back, gazing up, soften the jaw. Once more, inhale back to the center. Exhale, extend. Good, breathing in, we'll come all the way back in. And then exhale, release your feet to the ground and then release your hands back behind you once more with your fingertips pointing towards your toes. Make sure that your wrists are stacked underneath your shoulders. And then when you're ready, we'll breathe in, find a reverse table, lift your bottom up. Maybe let your head fall back here. Good, and then exhale gently, bend your elbows, bring your bottom back down. Good, this time we'll inhale, push down to peel and lift up. Staying here, maybe your right leg flies high, point your right toes, really squeeze that left glute, take another breath in. And then exhale, cross your right ankle over your left thigh, gently bring your bottom down. So you can stay here, maybe you find a little windshield wiper, keeping your legs in that number four. So as you inhale through the center, exhale, let your right foot maybe find the floor to the left. And keep actively pushing that right side forward, feeling that stretch in your right hip. Good, and then exhale, come back through the center. Inhale to the other side. Good. when you're ready, come back to the center, then slowly keeping your legs as they are, come down to your back, maybe the forearms, and then lower your head, your shoulders down. So continue this figure four shape, pushing your right thigh forward, flexing through your right heel. If you'd like more, you can lift that left leg up, interlacing your hands behind that left thigh. I like to gently rock a little side to side. Maybe you straighten your left leg towards the sky, rolling out that left ankle, keeping your head and shoulders rooted. Follow your breath, where are your thoughts? Bringing us back to this present moment on our mats with our body, our breath. Good. we'll take another full inhale and a full exhale. Good, gently we're gonna release our hands, release your left foot back to the ground, knee to the sky. 
and just draw your right knee in towards your chest. So it can be right knee towards the chest, right knee over towards that right armpit. You can hug on top of the right shin or underneath that right thigh. Roll out your ankle, maybe right hand to your right knee. Maybe you circle that right hip like a little half frog. So just move in whatever way feels good to you, your body. When you're ready, we'll extend that right leg high towards the ceiling. And then interlace your hands behind the back of that right thigh. Again, you can point and flex, stretching through the top of that right foot. Maybe you can walk even further up that leg, keeping your head and shoulders down. Maybe you wanna lift your head and heart up, nose towards your knee. Maybe peace fingers and thumbs around your big toes, wherever you are today. And then exhale, we'll just slowly walk your way back down if you walked up that right leg. And then taking your arms to a cactus or a T on the ground, either point your toes or flex that right foot. Take a full breath in. And then we're gonna slowly let your right leg fall open to the right, let it hover here. Your left hip's gonna wanna lift up, so really squeeze that left glute, push down through your left heel. Breathe, engage the right leg, muscle to the bone. Inhale, use your low belly, send that right leg back towards the ceiling. Straighten your left leg, left heel is heavy towards the top of the mat. And then slowly let your right leg fall over towards the left. So your right hip will lift here. Maybe it hovers, maybe bring it down for a twist with the inner arch of that right foot on the ground. Try to keep that right shoulder grounded. Gaze up or over to the right. Breathing in, expand, breathe into the belly. Exhale as slow as you can, empty the breath all the way out. Squeeze navel towards the spine. One more cycle of breath here. Full cycle of breath out. Together we'll gently come back to your back. You'll hug your right knee in once more. And then when you're ready, send your right leg high towards the sky. Take your hands down by your sides. Grip down into your fingertips in that low V. Point your right toes, engage your left leg. And as slow as you can, exhale like slow motion. Lower your right leg all the way down to meet your left. Take your time, there's no rush. When your right heel lands, just let both feet fall open. Let your palms face up in a little Shavasana pose. Take a full body breath in. Imagine that breath entering through the soles of the feet, traveling up your legs, past the belly, the heart, the head. Full exhale all the way back down and out, noticing the right side versus the left. The right leg might feel a little bit longer. Good, take another round of breath in and a full exhale it out. Good, we'll take a full body stretch, sweep your arms over the head, reach for the wall behind you, point your toes, flex your feet, maybe roll out your wrist here. Allow your low back to arch up and away. And then exhale, we'll invite both knees in towards your body. Good, keeping your head and shoulders down, maybe you rock a little left, a little right here. A happy baby might feel good in the morning. Grabbing for the outside edges of your feet. As you rock side to side, massage the back of your skull. Maybe straightening one leg, the other. Breathe, maybe finding stillness, whatever feels good. Take another cycle of breath in. And a full round of breath out. When you're ready, we'll bring our knees, our thighs back together. Grab behind your thighs. We'll take three rock and rolls. Inhale to rock your back. Exhale to come forward. Maybe you take it into a boat pose. Maybe your legs stay straight. Two more. Inhale, rock your back. Exhale to come forward. Once more, breathing in, rock it back. Exhale to come forward. Good, draw your low belly in. Maybe you float your palms up. Take another breath in. Then we'll take this to the other side. Exhale, feet will release down and then take your hands back behind you once more with your wrists under your shoulders. 
fingers pointing towards your toes. And then when you're ready, reverse tabletop, we'll breathe in, push down as you lift your hips up. Again, squeeze your inner thighs, squeeze your glutes, maybe your head falls back, maybe you lion's breast, stick your tongue out, let something go. Good, inhale, lift your head back up. Maybe you slowly lift your left leg, point your toes, squeeze that right glute. Good, exhale, cross your left ankle over your right thigh, and then slowly bring your bottom down. Good, breathing in here in a seated figure four. Exhale, maybe your left foot falls to the right, coming down to the ground. Inhale, you can come back to the center. And then exhale, let your legs fall towards the left. Good, once more, inhale, bringing it back, massaging the glute. Maybe you actively push that left thigh forward, loosening through that left hip flexor. Good, and whenever you are ready, we'll slowly bring it down for a figure four on our backs. You can keep your right foot planted if you'd like, or lift that right leg. Interlacing the hands behind your right thigh, maybe straightening your right leg. You can actively push your left elbow into that left thigh. Maybe finding a little rock side to side. Come to your breath here, the rhythm, slowing down the breath, our body. Good, keeping our shoulders rooted, low back is sealed to the ground. <sighs> Take another cycle of breath in and a full exhale it out. Good, when you're ready, we'll gently release that right foot to the ground, release your hands from behind the thigh. Keep your right foot planted, just hug that left knee in towards your chest. Maybe you roll that left ankle. Maybe you draw your left knee towards that left armpit. Again, you can find a little half frog here, maybe circling that left knee. When you are ready, we'll extend that left leg high towards the sky, the ceiling. You can interlace your hands behind the thigh. Maybe you just roll your ankle, a little point and flex. Maybe walk your hands up the calf, maybe nose towards your knee. Whenever you're ready, just exhale, walk your way all the way back down. Good, together we'll take our arms in a cactus or out to a T. I find it easier if I root down in my palms. Keep your right hip rooted, squeeze that right glute, point your left toes or flex as you dial that left leg nice and slow out to the left. So opening through that thigh, left hip here, breathing in, breathing it out. Good, slowly we'll inhale, left leg will fly high. Exhale, straighten your right leg and then slowly let your left leg fall open towards the right. You can keep it hovering if you want an IT band stretch or maybe inner arch of that left foot comes down. Good, you can flip your palms to face up, cactus the arms, looking up or over towards your left shoulder, maybe right hand to that top left thigh. Just breathe here, inflate your belly, expand, exhale as you empty it out, draw the belly in. And one more cycle of breath here. And a full exhale it out. And gently we'll come back to your back, hug your left knee in once more. Good, and then we'll straighten that left leg high towards the sky. Taking your palms down to a low V by your sides, really engage both legs, so feel your strength. Breathe in here. Exhale as slow as you can, lower that left leg all the way down to meet your right. When it arrives, we'll let our feet flop open once more, palms can face up, breathing in. And a full breath all the way down and out. Let any stress go, anything you've been holding on to. Good, we'll sweep our arms up and over the head, point your toes, good morning stretch. Good, we'll invite the knees in once more, give your body a squeeze. Grabbing behind your thighs, we'll inhale to rock it back. Exhale to come forward. You can take it a few times if you're ready. 
We'll make our way to hands and knees, tabletop pose. So always feel free to add any extra padding under your knees. Otherwise, take your hands nice and wide with the wrist under your shoulders, knees under your hips. Just move a little side to side. Maybe you tuck your toes and take the weight backwards your heels, coming to fingertips at the soles of your feet. You need a little stretching this morning. Just kind of flow a little bit. So just warming up the spine. You can shift forward and back. And when you're ready, we'll just shift our way back to a child's pose before we take some cows and cats. Big toes together, hips nice and heavy towards your heels. And let's stay on tinted fingertips this morning. Chin can come down or your forehead can release to the earth. Maybe rock a little side to side in your hips. Maybe you roll your forehead a little left, a little right. Allow your shoulders to soften away from your ears. Allow your shins to ground down into the mat. And then slowly we'll just lift our head and heart, gazing forward. Exhale, walk your fingertips over to the left. Keep hugging that right hip back. Let your head be heavy. Breathing in from that right pinky all the way down to that right hip. Expand, exhale as you soften. Good. Slowly we'll come back to those fingertips. Walk your hands back to the center, over to the right, coming off of the mat. Draw that left hip back. Let your head be heavy. Chin towards your chest. Breathing in. Exhale to soften. Good. Slowly we'll take our fingertips back to the center. Come down to your palms and then inhale. Make your way back to hands and knees. Maybe walking your knees in a little bit. We'll take some cows and cats. When you're ready, breathing in, release your belly, peel the head and the heart up, gazing up, draw your shoulders together. Exhale, slowly ground down in your fingertips, shins, tops of the feet, round your spine, gaze back to your belly button. And we'll take two more cycles here, breathing in for cow, feel free to add a little wag, side to side or forward and back. Exhale into that cat pose, just waking up the body in the morning. Maybe a gentle nod, yes, and a gentle shake, no. Good. One more round here, making it feel nice, breathing in. Maybe roll one shoulder the other, so just move freely here. Exhale as you round. Good. When you're ready, we'll tuck our toes in this tabletop. And then we'll find a hovering table, grip into your fingertips, slowly tucking your toes, lift your knees just a couple inches away from the ground. Keep your gaze down, find that length through the crown of your head, really squeeze your inner thighs, take another breath in. And then exhale, hips up and back, downward facing dog. In the morning, maybe you need to bend both knees, which is fine, just lifting your tail up to, towards the ceiling where the wall meets. Pedal out your legs, bend one knee deeply, stretching one calf, the back of the leg, and then the other. And maybe you peek underneath one armpit and then the other. Maybe you peek up towards the top of the mat and then exhale, take your chin back towards your chest. And feel free to lift one leg, the other, just explore before we move together. Soften through your jaw. So when you're ready, coming to that neutral down dog with your feet hip width distance apart. We'll breathe in, lift your heels high, shift your weight forward to a plank pose, top of a push up. Push back through your heels here. And then exhale, lift your hips back up, downward facing dog. Twice more like a wave in the water, lift your heels high. Round your weight forward to a plank. Push back through your heels like they're against a baseboard. Exhale, hips up and back, down dog. Once more, inhale, lift your heels high, round it forward. Holding it here in plank pose, shift your weight forward to your tippy toes. Slowly lower down, our knees, belly, chest, hugging those elbows in. 
Good, tops of the feet will come to the mat. Shin can come down, push down in your feet. Grow light in your palms as you peel your head and heart up. A little cobra, low belly stays down, elbows draw in. Exhale, slowly lower heart and chin back down. Good, we'll come to those spider fingers once more. Outside the top corners of your mat, elbows to the sky. Feel free to take your feet a little bit wider. Push down on your feet, engaging your legs, strengthening the low back, breathing in, feel the head and heart up, maybe belly button lifts. And then exhale, flow it all the way back down. Good, use your whole inhale to push down on your feet like a snake, strong tail lifting up. Good, this time we'll just dip your right shoulder down, peek underneath your left arm, maybe your right ear, right temple comes down. Good, we'll re-firm the legs, breathing in to peel all the way back up. Exhale, squeeze your glutes, dip your left shoulder down, peek underneath that right arm, maybe left ear lowers. Once more, push down, breathing in as we peel and lift back up. Gazing up, squeeze those shoulder blades together. Exhale as we slowly lower back down. Then we'll take our palms by our side, tuck your toes. Either lift up through plank or hands and knees. Back to downward facing dog. Cycle of breath in, checking in. Full round of breath out. Knowing there's nothing else to do, nowhere else to be, but this time on your mat. When you're ready, inhale, lift your heels high. Exhale, bend your knees, look to the top of the mat and slowly travel. You can tiptoe, you can step, you can hop. Coming to a forward fold at the top of your mat. Feet can be hip width distance or two fists between your feet. Maybe you grab opposite elbows here as you sway again side to side. And forward folds, I like to put a little bend into my knees to just help lengthen through the spine, especially in the morning. You can just bend one knee, the other. Really let the crown of the head drift down, shift the weight forward into the balls of the feet to grow light in your hips. And maybe putter out your lips here, softening through the jaw. And then when you're ready, your fingertips will come down to the mat. We'll inhale, find a halfway lift, fingertips to your shins, really reach the crown of the head forward, gaze down, weights in the balls of the feet. Exhale, soften as you fold all the way back down. Once more, we'll inhale, halfway lift. Exhale as you fold. Good, slowly this time we'll round all the way up, root down in your heels. Stacking our spine. The last thing to lift will be your arms high towards the sky. Palms will come together. Gaze up and nice and long as you root through your feet. And then exhale, hands to the heart, bow the chin. Good. Breathing in, sweep the arms high towards the sky. Exhale, we're going to hinge and swan dive all the way down. Hands can stay together or arms can reach out. Inhale, we'll halfway lift. Exhale and fold. Once more, breathing in, root down, roll it up or sweep your arms out and up towards the sky, strong legs and glutes. Exhale, hands to the heart center. Good, breathing in, sweep the arms high. Exhale, hinge and fold all the way down. Together, we'll inhale, halfway lift. Exhale and fold. Plant your palms to the mat, bend your knees, step your left foot back and then your right, coming to plank pose. From here, you can take a high to low flow, shifting your weight forward to the toes, lowering knees, belly, chest, or maybe just staying in down dog. Inhale for your cobra of your choice, or maybe an up dog. Exhale to downward facing dog. Breathing in. Breathing it out. Good. When you're ready, your big toes will come together to touch. Breathing in, fly that right leg high, three-legged dog. 
Top in your left heel as maybe you open up that right hip, heel to glute, knee to sky. Maybe you roll that right ankle, maybe you circle that right hip once more. Find a little frog, circle one direction, and then the other. Good, slowly we'll straighten that right leg high towards the sky. Good, lift your left heel high, three round knee towards the nose. You can always drop to your left knee, otherwise exhale, hugs it in. Maybe tap your nose to your knee, and then inhale, right leg high. Good, twice more, exhale, draw it in, round the spine like a C shape. Inhale to send it up. Good, once more, exhale, round, round, round. Look to the top and then step your right foot forward. Good, left fingertips stay underneath that left shoulder or left fist or left palm as you open the right arm high towards the sky, finding a twist here. Actively push back in that left heel, right knee over your right ankle, reach, 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 gazing up. And then exhale, bring your right fingertips down. Good, we'll inhale, push your belly to that right thigh, gaze up, a little runner's lunge, push back through your heel. Exhale, slowly straighten your front leg, staying on those fingertips, let your head be heavy. Twice more, we'll inhale, re-bend, belly to your thigh, gaze up. Exhale, slowly draw your hips back as you straighten both legs. Looking back to that left foot, once more, we'll inhale, re-bend. Good. Exhale as you take it all the way back. Good. Inhale, we're going to re-bend that right knee. Look to the top of the mat, bend your left knee, and see if you can step your left foot to meet the right. It can be one step or multiple steps. Good. Inhale, we'll halfway lift. Exhale and fold. Good. From here, we're going to come into a chair pose, weights back in your heels, fly your arms high towards the sky. Good. Maybe biceps are by your ears, squeeze your inner thighs, tailbone down, take a full breath in. Good. Exhale, sit just a little bit deeper. Steady gaze in front of you, shift your weight to that left foot. Slowly lift your right knee up. Flex that right foot. Exhale, slowly bring your right foot down. Sit back in your chair and fly your arms back. Palms can face each other, breathe in. Exhale, shift your weight to that right foot, steady gaze, breathe in, peel your left knee up. Good, exhale, take that left foot down, swim the arms back. Once more each side, shift your weight to that left foot, slowly peel it up. Good, maybe you take your hands around the right shin. A little bend in that left knee, Breathing in. Maybe you take your right knee out to the right. Find your little one-legged mountain pose. Maybe no hands. Maybe both palms face up. Good. Slowly we'll bring it back to the center. Arms lift. Good. And then exhale. Release that right foot down. Swim the arms back and sit down. Once more, shift the weight to the right foot. Breathing in. Arms lift. Left knee lifts. Good, maybe a little bend in that right knee. Take your hands around the left shin. Try to stand tall. Keep your shoulders back. Breathe in. Maybe exhale, open your left knee out to the left. Maybe right palm faces up. Maybe both hands float. Good, slowly you'll take it back to the center. Arms lift. And then exhale, release your left foot. Forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale and fold. Good, we'll plant our palms, bend your knees. Step your feet back, downward facing dog. Take a high to low flow. Breathe. Slowing down the breath, connecting to the body. And when you are ready from downward facing dog, we'll take the other side. Our big toes will come together. And then breathing in, fly your left leg high, three-legged dog. Good. Exhale, we're going to open up the hip and the knee. Heel to glute, knee to sky. Maybe you soften your right heel closer to the earth. Gripping through your fingertips, you can roll your left ankle. Maybe you circle that whole left knee, circling the left hip once more. 
And then inhale, we'll straighten your left leg. Lift your right heel high. You can always drop your right knee. Otherwise, exhale, left knee towards your nose, round it in. Inhale, sends it high. Two more. Exhale, pull it in as you shift forward and round. Inhale, left leg high. Last time here, we'll exhale, round it in. Shift forward, look forward. Help your left foot to the top. Right hand, right fist, or right fingertips under your right shoulder. Open that left arm high for a twist. Keep your left knee bent a lot. Keep that right thigh lifted, breathe. Good, and then exhale that left hand will come back down. Coming to fingertips here, runner's lunge. Belly to your thigh, push back through your right heel. Keep your shoulders together as you look forward, inhale. Exhale, slowly straighten both legs. Head is nice and heavy, nose towards your left knee. Soften the right heel as well. Twice more, inhale, re-bend. Good, exhale, slowly and straighten. Once more, inhale, bend. Exhale to straighten. Inhale, we'll re-bend that left knee, look forward. Bend your right knee and then try to step your right foot to meet the left top of the mat. Inhale, we'll halfway lift. Exhale and fold. Good, taking your peace fingers and thumbs around your big toes. Maybe you straighten the legs and the arms. And then exhale, bend your knees a lot. Maybe belly to your thigh, elbows out to the sides. Just add a soft sway, bending one knee, the other. Shake your head around. So when you're ready, we'll breathe in, halfway lift. Exhale and fold. Fingertips will come to the mat. We're gonna step our left foot back. And then we're gonna come into a high lunge. So right knee is stacked over your right ankle. Both feet have their own lane. Maybe you soften in that left knee, low to high. We'll come all the way up. And then exhale, soften your shoulders. You can always take your hands to your hips or hands to the heart. And when you're ready, we'll breathe in here. And then exhale, bend your left knee a lot. Cactus your arms, squeeze that left glute. Inhale, we'll straighten the left leg, reach your arms up. Yeah, maybe you straighten both legs and then exhale, Bend as you take it down towards the ground. Inhale as you lift and squeeze to come back up. Once more, exhale, we'll soften as we open. Good, breathing in, arms to the sky. Exhale, we're gonna frame our fingertips down by that right foot. Bend your right knee or keep it bent, look forward. Bend your left knee, standing split. You can bring it closer or just reach it high towards the sky. Staying on those fingertips here, breathing in, point your left toes. And then exhale, knee towards your nose with the left knee. Inhale, send that left leg back, squeeze. Exhale, bring it in, knee towards the nose. Once more, inhale, send that left leg back, maybe look slightly forward. Exhale, bring it back in. Inhale, we'll send that left leg back. Bend your right knee and then we'll step that left foot back. Right heel to your left arch. So we'll come up in a warrior two. Bend your right knee and then cartwheel left arm, right arm. Maybe you roll out your wrist here. Maybe you flip your palms to face up, roll the shoulders back. Actively squeeze your inner thighs. Good, slowly we'll inhale right palm to the sky. And then reverse, slide that left hand down, tip the right arm up and over, reach, reach, reach. Inhale back to warrior two. And then exhale, right forearm to your right thigh, sweep your top arm up and over, reach, reach, reach. Good, staying rooted through our feet. Once more, we'll inhale, warrior two. Exhale, straighten your front leg, left hand will slide down, right arm reaches up and over, reach, reach, reach. Good, exhale, arms to a T. Coming into triangle pose, we'll take our hips to the left. Look to the right, reach, reach, reach. Maybe right fingertips to that right shin, left arm high. 
You can look down to that right foot in front of you or all the way up. Take one more breath in as you slightly lean back, softening through your face. Inhale, we'll come all the way back up. Good, turn your right toes in and we'll take a wide-legged fold, feet parallel to the short edges. Breathe in as you lift and exhale, take it down. So feel free to bend the knees one at a time. Feel free to walk your hands forward. Grab for the outer edges of the feet. Maybe take your head side to side. Breathe here. Roll the shoulders, finding some softness in the body. So we'll take another round of breath in and a full round of breath out. Good, slowly we'll come back to those tinted fingertips as you breathe in. Exhale, we'll walk our hands to the top of the mat, right toes will point forward, left heel will spin up. Framing that right foot, we'll step the right foot back to meet the left, downward facing dog. Full round of breath in. Full exhale it out. You can take it through a flow here. Or maybe you lift your heels high. And then exhale, come down for a child's pose. Maybe knees and thighs together. Like a little turtle shell. You can take your hands back by your feet. Releasing your forehead down to the ground. Come back to that breath. Come back to your intention. And breathe. Inhale to expand your belly. Maybe you feel it push against the thighs. Maybe you pause at the top and then exhale, let any anxiety go. Any thoughts? Good, following the breath, quieting our mind. Take another round here. And a full exhale it out. Good, slowly stay as you are. We'll come to our palms, coming back to downward facing dog. Hips high towards the sky as you breathe in. And soften as you breathe all the way out. Good, when you're ready, we'll take the other side, lifting your heels high. Exhale, bend your knees, look to the top of your mat, and slowly tiptoe step or travel to the top. Good, we'll inhale, halfway lift. Exhale as you fold. Good, and this time we're gonna keep our left foot forward. Slowly step your right foot back. Make sure left heel, right foot have their own lane. Left knees over that left ankle, you can always drop your back knee. Otherwise, low to high, scoop your arms out and up toward the sky. Good, soften the shoulders, turning those pinkies in, breathing in. And then exhale, cactus your arms as you bend that right knee to hover. Inhale, sweep the arms up, maybe straighten both legs, squeeze the glutes. Exhale, soften, right knee will hover, gaze up, open through the heart. Once more, inhale, arms lift. Exhale as you open. Inhale, arms high. Exhale, hands will come down, fingertips will root, framing your left foot. Bend your right knee, look to the top, standing splits, reach that right leg high. Good, let your head be heavy. Point your toes or flex the foot as you breathe in. Three rounds, exhale, right knee towards your nose, soft bend in your left knee. Inhale, we'll straighten. Exhale, knee to the nose, round it in. Once more, look forward, right leg reaches back. Exhale, draw it in, knee towards the nose. Inhale, we'll reach it back. Bend your left knee and then watch your back foot land. Left heel to that right middle arch. And then when you're ready, we'll come up warrior two, right arm, left arm. Settling in. Good, squeezing your inner thighs, right side of that right foot is sealed to the ground and slowly inhale left arm will left palm will float up 
Exhale, reverse. Right hand will slide down, left arm sweeps up and over. Good. Inhale back to warrior two. Exhale, left arm, left thigh. Reach that top arm up and over. Reach, reach, reach. Once more. Inhale, we'll straighten the front leg. Right hand will slide down, left arm up and over. Opening that left side for triangle, arms to a T. Keep your hips to the right, look to the left. Reach, 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 triangle pose. Right arm flies high. You can always gaze down or in front of you. Good, slightly leaning back, engaging all the muscles, belly, thighs. Good, and then slowly we'll come all the way up. Good, turn your left toes in, breathing in, arms fly high. And then exhale, release your hands behind your low back, opening through the shoulders, breathing in, knuckles. Grow low, draw the shoulders back, gaze up. And then slowly hinge as you take it all the way down. Let your head hang. Release your interlace at any time. What feels good for your body? And breathe. And slowly we'll make our way back to our fingertips. We'll inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, walk your hands back to the top of your mat. Left toes point forward, right heel will spin up. Look to the top, bend your right knee. Step your right foot to meet the left. Inhale, we'll halfway lift. Exhale as you fold. Fingertips can come down. Slowly make your way to your bottom. Good, rooting down in your feet. Reach your arms forward. Then slowly chin to the chest. Come all the way down. Good, we'll keep our feet planted with your knees bent. Just reach your arms over the head. See if you can keep your low back glued. So as you lift your bottom up, just reseal it down to the ground. And reach just a little bit further away from the body. And then exhale, engage through your core as you float your arms high towards the ceiling. And then exhale, release your hands down by your sides. And we'll come into a bridge pose. Middle fingers grazing your heels, walk the arms in as close as you can. Take a full breath in. And then exhale, push down as you lift your hips high towards the sky. You can stay here, you can interlace your hands underneath, walking your right shoulder under, left shoulder under. Squeeze the inner thighs, squeeze your glutes. Inhale to puff up your belly as much as you can. Exhale as you empty it out. Good. Release the hands if you have them. Lift your heels high as you breathe in. And then exhale, lower your lower upper back, middle back, low back down. Heel to your feet nice and wide. Maybe arms over the head. Maybe let your knees and thighs fall together, massaging through the low back. Another option is keeping your feet wide, maybe knees separate, and exhale, find a little windshield wiper, letting your knees fall to the right, looking up or over to the left. And then inhale back to the center. Exhale, letting your legs fall left as you look up or look to the right. Good. Breathing in, maybe take this once more to each side. Exhale as you allow the knees to fall to the right. Soften your thoughts. Inhale to the center. Exhale, let your knees fall back to the left. And breathing in back to the center. You can hug your knees in, giving your body a squeeze once more. These last five minutes are for you if you'd like another bridge pose, a wheel pose. If you'd like more hip openers, pigeon, figure four, maybe happy baby. When you're ready for Shavasana, you can end seated, you can end on your back with soles of the feet together, knees falling open. Maybe you extend the legs, letting the feet fall open, palms down by your sides, facing up. 
Taking your time, if you're close to the wall, you can also extend your legs up the wall as a restorative Shavasana. When you are ready, we'll take our deepest round of breath together today, breathing in. See if you can sip in a little bit more, holding the breath at the top. Exhale all the way down and out. You'd like to engage every muscle in the body, make fists, squeeze your legs, your thighs, your calves, your glutes, your belly, scrunch your face, and be free. Allow your body to rest, to restore, soaking in the benefits of this practice. Taking a moment to observe your body. Noticing how you feel after yoga. With each exhale, let your body soften a little bit more. Relaxing your face, your jaw, the tongue. Softening your shoulders down the back, lifting up through the heart. And sharing this yoga light and love with those that we come across. Softening through your belly, your hips, all the way down to your toes. Taking these next two minutes of stillness, of silence, surrendering our thoughts, our body, before we resume with our day. Staying in the stillness, just begin following your natural rhythm of breath. Noticing as you inhale, pulling the belly lift into the ribs, the lungs, the heart. Breathing in some calmness, exhale, letting anything go. Being kind to ourselves as practice. Gradually with each round of breath in, begin to build your breath. Feel free to exhale it out through the nose or out through the mouth. Once more belly breath in. And a full exhale it out. You can keep your eyes closed, maybe wiggle your fingers, your toes. When you're ready, take another full body stretch, get nice and long. You'll slowly invite your knees in towards your chest once more, giving your body a squeeze, maybe rocking side to side. And then falling to either side, that feels comfortable, using your bicep as a little pillow, fetal position. Coming back to your gratitude or your intention. Now with that bottom hand, we'll slowly push down, coming all the way up to a seat. Once more, we'll breathe in, rolling our shoulders up. And exhale, release them back down. As 
we slightly lean back, allow our arms to float high towards the sky. Palms will find each other, lift up, look up. Sharing our love and light with one another. And then exhale, carrying this with us back down to our heart center as we bow the chin back down towards your chest. The light and love in me honors the light and love in each of you. you so much for showing up. May we all take this practice with us as we ease back into our day. Namaste.